With the NFL draft fast approaching, there are several questions that have yet to be answered, like who will the Cleveland Browns take with the first pick? Where will the top four quarterbacks land? And will Saquon Barkley, the running back from Penn State, be an overall number one selection? Sooner or later, though, general managers will have to address the players on the defensive side of the ball. Of course, they'll consider all the measurables like strength, speed, and agility. But what if one of the top candidates only has one hand? Shaquem Griffin from the University of Central Florida was born with amniotic band syndrome. His left hand never developed. At age four, that hand had to be amputated. Since then, he's never looked back. Last season, he led his team to an undefeated season and a victory over Auburn in the Peach Bowl. In 2016, Griffin was the American Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Year. This season, he was the uplifting athlete, rare disease champion. What does it mean to you to take home an award like this because you become an inspiration to so many people? I mean, it's just what it said, uplifting athletes. And I mean, I think it's very important that I had the opportunity to be one of the candidates for this award. Obviously, we had a lot of good candidates. and. You know, I had a lot of support from, from my team and from my community and people who was behind me when it came to vote. So, I mean, I'm just so honored and blessed to be able to opportunity to be to receive this award because it goes to show that everything, all the effort that I put in is, is well worth it and is, is, is inspiring others to do what they feel is needed and push themselves to be the best that they can be. Griffin has an identical twin. His brother Shaquille currently is a starting defensive back with the Seattle Seahawks. Both excelled at Lakeland High School in Florida. Shaquille drew attention from several Division I programs, but when it came to the Griffins, it was a package deal or no deal. Eventually, the twins landed at UCF. Take me through that college career of being there with your brother. That had to be an emotional bond and a great, a great support for you to, uh, to excel. Yeah, I mean, when I first got there, I mean, it started off rough. I mean, I, I wasn't playing it that much. Being when Coach Frost got there, I mean, it was my brother's senior year, it was my redshirt junior year, and that's when we started playing. And mind you, going from little league to high school, all we know is just playing with each other and having that little gap, that little space between each other at, at one point in time in college. And then, I mean, literally, I remember the first play of the game when I first uh, started playing against South Carolina State. I was chasing a running back, and I had so much anxiety, I just started throwing up in the field. Like, <laughs> literally, and I was like, man, I can't. I told my brother, I can't breathe, I can't feel my heart. He said, how you can't breathe if you're talking to me? And he was like, look, just calm down, play football. You've been waiting for this your, your entire life. He said, just play and let go. After that, man, I, I, went, I went crazy that game and never looked back since. If pro scouts didn't see enough of Shaquem's skill on tape, then they saw it on display at the NFL Combine. In the weight room, he bench pressed 225 pounds 20 times to the astonishment of onlookers. When it came to the 40-yard dash, Griffin rewrote the record book for linebackers. His time of 4.38 was not just the fastest time by a linebacker at the event. It was the fastest time ever by a linebacker in the history of the combine. The numbers don't lie. Shaquem Griffin has set a standard for years to come. The combine, by all accounts, you excelled. Yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew my, what my expectations are and I knew what I wanted out of the combine, but I just think everybody was, was, was waiting to see what I was gonna do. And I mean, I knew I was gonna do it, but I was just ready to show the world that. And I even said when I, when I put in my interview, I mean, I told everybody, I said, you know, I'm thankful for the support. There's a lot of great things coming, and everybody the right one. And I think I was able to show everybody uh, the reason why I, I should be there. When did you know that I can play this game? I mean, I knew right away. I mean, four years old, after my surgery, I went outside and started playing football. I mean, my mom said, hey, do not go outside. Let your, let your, let your wound heal. Let, let the, don't, I will not. I do not want you coming home with a dirty bandage. I mean, that same day I came home with a, with a football in my hand and a bloody bandage. I said, Mom, I felt so much better out there. I felt good. I was able to play again. And I mean, I mean, moments like that, that's when I knew, like, you know what? I'm going to play football. And then soon after that, I signed up that summer and was playing football and I haven't stopped since. Griffin told me he's definitely ready for the next step in his career and he's excited to see how the process unfolds. Looking ahead to the NFL draft, I'm McMoninghan.